Andrew and Hearn are nominated for eviction, but Stephen holds the golden power of veto. Will he use it? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 6 Hockey Sticks. Yeah, you got me singing like, ooh, I love it when you do it like that. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 6 Hockey Sticks. It's day 69, giggity giggity, inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house. And this week, uh, Stephen is the head of household. He nominated Andrew and Hearn for eviction, but Stephen also won the Golden Power Veto in the Big Brother Monopoly Golden Power Veto competition. Will he use it? We'll find out shortly. But first, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, I went to a family dinner where one of my uh, uncle's friends uh, bought my mother a bouquet of roses and she, you know, bless her heart, she's 71, she doesn't realize, you know, puns and whatnot, and she goes, I really like roses that are small and tight, and I was just, <laughs> just like, oh... Mind you, this is the same woman who got Amy a bracelet from a jewelry store, not realizing that it was a cock ring. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, I can't believe that was 10 years ago now. Time flies. Okay, so, quick announcement. Some of you are probably wondering, at this point, uh, how we're going to get to the finale on day 85, December 22nd, when we are on day 69 and there's still seven people left. Well, uh, as always in Big Brother Cheesecake, weeks 11, 12, and 13 are condensed into two weeks. So the next three weeks of play will be in the next two weeks, and the reason for that is simple. Uh, once you get down to the final six, there's really no need for an entire week uh, for a round because... Everybody at that point kind of knows who's with who. You know who you want to go to final four with, final three with, final two with. You know, so at this point, I think usually day, I mean, tomorrow's day 70. This is a point where we're way past two months and everybody's, you know, getting tired and is getting ready to wrap it up. So starting tomorrow, actually technically today, because you are voting today, starting today, the game is going to accelerate. Uh, yeah, so whoever is left on the block, please submit your, uh, plea speeches immediately, and house guests and alumni voting is now open, uh, to vote one of the two final nominees out, uh, and it will close at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Okay, next, uh, Stephen has been whining like a little bitch that he hasn't gotten his third HOH bedroom yet, uh, and so I was like, calm down, Jojo, you're gonna get your bloody treats, uh, so let's go to Steven's head of household bedroom. Hey everyone, it's me, Steven. I'm so excited for my third HOH bedroom. Who wants to see my third HOH bedroom? Oh my god, I'm so excited, Steven. Let's like go up the stairs together. Okay, here we go. We're going up the stairs. It's that spiral staircase, you know, the one that goes one that goes like in a circle motion. Okay, we're here. Oh my god, where is everybody? I think they've just gotten like so like exhausted of seeing the exact same room over and over again. They're such party poopers. Oh, that's so true. Anybody? Last call. If you're willing to wait half an hour for me to go up one flight of stairs, I'll come up. Should we wait? Nah, fuck it. Let's go inside. Oh, cool. All my favorite uh, treats and snacks and junk food. But I've been eating a lot of junk food lately, so I'm really happy that my family packed me dried pitted dates. They help me poop. And they're, they're not as powerful as prunes, but prunes are like level five poop and I just need level three poop. Yeah. Oh, and the video screen image is coming down. Let's see who it is. 
Hey, Steven, I'm just, I'm in, uh, I'm in a place right now, so I can't talk long, but I'm really rooting you on to win from back home. You're, uh, you gotta bring home that cheesecake money to us. Uh, Uncle Billy's been arrested since then, and he's in jail, so we gotta, like, do the whole cake maneuver, knife and a cake thing. So, some other updates. Uh, you have a few kids now. I don't know how that happened while you were gone, but, yeah, you're, you've been busy, I can tell. So, yeah, you really could use that money. Uh, just do whatever it takes to win. Simp for whoever. Andrew, the host, I heard he's pretty cool. Uh, Karen, another Canadian. Like, you got you got this. Take out everyone. Get the jury vote, because you need it for your kids. Wow. Oh, and there's a second video. Let's see who that is. What would you do if your Bobby was at home? Crying all alone because he misses you. Just me and Sangu right now. Please come back to life now. Because we need you more than air. The sadness doesn't stop now. I'll even let you talk now. <gasps> Listen, buddy. This is a serious matter. And we have something to talk about. Getting serious. Hey, you're over there. Winning. Doing well. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. But me, Sean Wu, and the kids, we just can't do it at times. It's getting really tough out here. And missing you, it's driving me bananas. It really is. <laughs> driving me bananas. Every second you're over there and not here, we're getting more and more apart. The distance is growing, and I can just feel it. I can't even talk to you, because you're like, hey, buddy, I'm out here flexing, winning competitions, doing all that stuff focused on you. When in reality, me, the aforementioned Mr. Wu, and the kids, we're just having a really tough time right now. So apologies, but I'm getting a little angry that you're not here. And I apologize again, because I usually don't let my emotions show. But this, so I almost drop it, this, that's empty like the heart, like my heart, without you, dude. It's just a really tough time. And I just want you back with the kids, and me, maybe some toppy toppy, you know? You never know. But every day, I'm just like, hey, Another day will pass, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait it out. Yeah. It seems gonna be here sooner or later. And every day, <laughs> I get more and more upset. What is going on? Steven, please come home. We miss you so much, and as the rival to Panic at the Disco band, Mr. Fallout Boy once said, dance, dance, we're falling apart at halftime. So, I love you. Congratulations. We miss you so much. You know what? I would be lying. <laughs> but if I said I didn't miss you, but I do. And I just, good luck. Oh, good luck. And, and I love you so much, Mr. As he, as he wants. Hey, I am a young boy, and I love you so much. XOXO. Look, I even rep you. <sighs> Big Ball of Bran. This is a lot. Big Ball of Bran. This is the Lord's game. We are repping you till the day that you and I die. Bless up, baby. <clears throat> wow. Thanks to my two besties for making that video for me. Uh, okay. Is the second, does the second guy not remind you of Vinny from Doogie Howser MD? Like, seriously? Like, that's exactly what I thought of the whole time. He's also kind of hot. Um, I feel like if Steven invited me to one of his parties with all his friends, I'd just be turned on the whole time. Uh, so, I, that's probably not a good idea, unless you want to, like, practice how to do a restraining order, but you're not studying to be a lawyer or anything like that. You're going to be an engineer, so you don't really need that. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, and it even said, what did it say at the end? He's like, big balls or something was written on a shirt. He's going to need to prove that. 
All right, now let's get to- ah! Oh, that sound, oh. That sound means a twist is about to be unleashed upon the house guests. Who could possibly be coming this late in the game? Oh, man. Well, that sound means... That next week, week 11, is a double eviction. I've been, house guests, I've been waiting 69 days for somebody, anybody to say, I wonder if there's a double eviction or, or when the double eviction is going to be coming. There must be a double. No house guests mentioned it. No fan, no alumni. The only person was Brazil. Brazil asked me in our extra whip chat, so when is the double eviction coming? And not even, like, nobody, not even JoJo asked. And so, yeah. There is a double eviction this season, and it is next week where we will go from six house guests to the final four. Now, pay attention because here's how a double eviction works in Big Brother Cheesecake. Next week, all six of you, will, or the six people remaining rather, will compete in the head of household competition. Yes, Steven is outgoing head of household gets to compete. This has always been the rule in Big Brother Cheesecake uh, because you don't know when the double eviction is coming. So it's not fair that the outgoing head of household can't play because they might have thrown it if they knew the double was coming this week. So everybody gets to play. Whoever wins head of household, first of all, clinches a spot in Final Four, but also uh, they will nominate four house guests for eviction. And with only six house guests left, that means they're only saving one person and they're putting the other four up whoever is not nominated is safe for the week there is no back door they are in the final four we will then play for the topaz power of veto the topaz power veto is a veto that must be used to save one of the four nominees from the chopping block so whoever wins the veto must use it to save one of the four nominees and that will lead and there will not be a replacement nominee which is why that one person is safe who is not on the block in the first place and that will leave us with three nominees then there will only be three house guests voting to evict the two non-nominees and for the last time this season the alumni there will be three votes you are casting a vote to evict. In the event of a three to zero to zero vote, the house guest with three votes to evict is evicted, and the head of household breaks the tie of the two zeros and votes to evict one of those two. If in the event of a two to one to zero vote, the two and the one are evicted. And in the event of a three way one 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 tie, the head of household gets to break the tie and evict two of the house guests on their own. The only disadvantage in being head of household this week is that then when we go into the final four, the outgoing head of household then will not be eligible to compete, so you can't compete for guaranteed safety at four. But you're jumping from six to four, so it's still good to have head of household this week. So yeah, that is the that is how the double eviction works, and so this next week is about to be spicy. Okay, before we get to the Golden Power Veto Ceremony, uh, the next last order of business is the rules to the next Head of Household competition. Free from the threat of eviction, the Head of Household wins the perks of his or her private HOH bedroom bathroom, a fruit basket with Arby's, a video from home, and the responsibility of nominating four of his or her fellow house guests for eviction. And they will clinch a spot in the final four. This week's Head of Household competition is called Big Brother Clockwork. And here's how it works. Big Brother Clockwork is the second of two endurance competitions this season. It was won in Season 1. It's a classic competition won by Debbie in Season 1, Rhonda in Season 2, Alvin in Season 3, Brazil in Season 4, and again Brazil in Season 5. It's very simple. 
every hour, on the hour, you must type in the word CLOCKWORK, in all caps spelled C-L-O-C-K-W-E-R-K, in the group chat. If you uh, misspell, or you don't put it in caps, or you don't put it at exactly 10 a.m., we're starting at 10 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Mountain, sorry, you are eliminated. So at 10 a.m., you have to type it in. Then again at 11, then again at noon, again at 1, 2, and so on. At various intervals, I will change what the word is so that you cannot get a robot, Julian, uh, to type the word in for you. And at, uh, we're going to say six hours in, uh, no, eight hours in, we will change it to every half hour. And at 16 hours in, we will change it to every 15 minutes. Uh, if we get to 24 hours, so... Last season, Brazil and all the All-Stars, they broke this competition. Brazil won it in 30 hours and 30 minutes. I'm not going beyond 24 hours. If we get to 24 hours, there will be a tiebreaker with the uh, house guests remaining. And it is a tiebreaker that has never been done before on Big Brother Cheesecake or in any org that I know of uh, or on the television show. So you don't know what it is. Uh, but to get to the tiebreaker, you have to get to 24 hours. Uh, which includes the 10 a.m. Uh, submission tomorrow, which will get you to 24 hours. Uh, yeah, that is it. So that is the competition. Okay, so good luck with that. The first endurance competition this season was won by Karen, and nobody has ever won both of the endurance competitions within their season. So we'll see what happens. This is, of course, a critical competition because not only does it get you a spot in the final four, but you get to choose who is not on the block and automatically safe. Um, and then you don't really have any power after that. But still, it's critical to win this. Okay, now let's get to the Golden Power Veto Ceremony. <clears throat> hey everyone, it's me, Steven. I've won Head of Household, I've won the Golden Power Veto. I've got to be like the most winningest house guest this season. Is that a word? Winningest? I don't know. I'm from I'm from Brockville. What do we know? Oh. Anyway, uh yeah, I've won uh three HOHs and two vetoes, so I'm in the lead. So suck it. Uh Andrew, why should I use the Golden Power Veto to save you? Oh man! Steven! You want to know why you should use the Golden Power Veto to save me? Oh, man! Uh, I think you should use it on me because I'm, I'm Mr. Burns' dad. I'm a washed-up comedian. I'm fat. I'm also dead. I think I'm Jewish, but I'm not sure. Uh, and, um, I'd like to take the Amethyst Veto home with me as a souvenir rather than using it. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Hearn, why should I use the Golden Power Veto to save you? All right, listen up, you gorgeous, pompous bastard. I want you to use the Golden Power Veto on me. Why? Because I said so. Because Larry King is dead, and uh, Chris Cuomo was just fired for being a demented sex pervert or the brother of one, and therefore I'm the only person who was on CNN at 9 p.m. and actually was reliable and didn't die or get uh, charged for some kind of misconduct. So give it to me. I'll do what you want. I'll bend over backwards. Give it to me. Just give it to me. Whoa. That's one crazy ass speech. Should I give it to should I give it to her? Oh, I know a lot of people want to give it to her. Well anyway, let's see. Pay attention to this one. This is a difficult decision to make. Initially, I wanted to backdoor Karen this week, but she had to win some lottery thing back in week one or something and ruin my plans. That sucks. However, the game must continue on and I must do my duties as the rightful holder of the power of veto and best player of Big Brother Cheesecake 6. Therefore, after some careful consideration, I've decided that I want to be messy because I'm bored and it would be fun. I intend for Andrew to leave the Big Brother Cheesecake House this week, ending our one-sided feud because I think he is the jury garnered favorite to win right now. Ensuring this will happen, I'm going to take Hearn off the block, thereby giving it to him, and replace him with... Brooke. Stop what you're doing and read the first letter of every sentence I just wrote in my speech. With that... This golden power veto ceremony is adjourned. Brooke or Hearn, who will be evicted and become the third member of the jury joining Kately and Jonah. 
find out tomorrow. I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Take care. And remember, the only difference between hockey moms and pimples is lipstick.